Hey guys, Dark Plays Minecraft here. I am back. Back from the dead. I am back. Okay, well, I didn't die, but nearly. Let's just leave it at that. Anyway, so for today, I have an airship review. It's a ship that I completed a uh, long ago, really. Um, it is the newest class of ship completely designed by me and by hand the only part that world that it took in it was um basically making sure that it's all symmetrical and exactly the same on both sides but other than that it's completely handmade uh now you may notice why isn't there that much armor on it well i'll explain the reason for that is because this is actually going to be what my ship is in the uh, Airship Pirates Survival Server, Bakiaro's one, not mine, Bakiaro's. Um, and this is basically what it's going to be. It's just that this one, well, this one works on my server as well. And it's also going to be my main, one of my main battleships. It's going, it's going to be this one, which is the interceptor class. I'm sorry, I'm really horrible at this, guys. It's been forever. So, okay, Ugh, moving too fast. Okay, so this is going to be one of two different types of battleships that are going to be in my fleet when my faction, when you know the fur, when the server starts up and stuff like that. This is going to be one of the two main battleships. It's going to be this one and the Corvette, which I just took a Corvette Mark II and um, made it wider and longer and added a cannon on it. And uh, yeah, I am very proud of this design. It has some really cool design, like, you know, paint designs on it. Not a lot of ships that I design have this kind of stuff, like, you know, Arrow. I mean, like, Fletcher has stuff like that, but this just takes it to a whole new level. Um, as you can see, it doesn't have advanced broadsides. It just has the front scattershot broadsides with one dispenser. And these are just dual shots, so they're not scattershot. Um, but the problem is with this ship... Because I wanted to work on uh, Bakiaro Survival Server, this is the inside of the ship. That's it. And this entire area is filled with redstone and cannon component components. Like, that's literally what three quarters of the ship is. And then this area is redstone and wool. And yes, there's a lot of redstone on this ship. But I like that. It kind of makes it even look... Makes it look a lot better. Now I'm just going to fire the front cannon. Show you what it does. It's not as powerful as I originally thought. But it still gets the job done, which is good. It's, it's good. And then these side, and then the broad sides, pack a lot more power in them. Yeah. And that's uh, mainly, well, it's only because the amount of repeaters that I put for each of these cannons, I think it's about six or seven for the projectile dispensers. And then of course for the main broadsides, there's a lot more dispenser, like there's a lot more propellant than the secondary ones. Um, and basically this is just to save space because this ship isn't that big, so I can't really put, you know, four scattershot cannons in. Well, I mean, I could, but that would just take up a lot more space and a lot more time and effort. And I already put, like, over three hours of work into this. So, yeah. Um. Uh, but yeah, so... The wiring, like, the... <laughs> the wiring in this is insane. Like, here, I'll just, uh... Just go on this, uh... Da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da. 
da 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 Wait, I gotta make sure that I don't break any of the wiring, though. There we are. Yeah, this is what the wiring looks like. <laughs> like, if your ship gets damaged in any way, like, in any way whatsoever, you're gonna have a fun time taking the entire ship apart after a battle and then <laughs> repairing all of it. Because... It's insane, like there's, like there's wiring over here, like, you know, just, just everywhere, there's wiring. There's wiring everywhere. It's insane how much wiring that I put into this. And it's kind of like a pinnacle of, you know, wiring capacity, I guess, for me. Because I've never built a ship with wiring this compact. Like, this is the most compact wiring I have ever done in a ship. And it's also the most amount of wiring that I've had to put in a single, you know, little tiny space. But yeah, as you can see, you got a little furnace, and you got all your buttons to activate your doors and stuff, and then all your buttons to activate the guns. And you might have noticed already that there aren't any fire guns. Now, why is that? Well, I just showed you. There's already enough redstone as there is. If you try to add fire guns, it's most likely going to activate cannons at the same time. Now, of course, you could modify it, like, you know, make it longer, make it wider. Making it wider might be a little bit difficult with this design, because I think you might have to redesign the entire nose, you have to redesign the bridge, and then you're going to have... You won't have to redo any of the wiring, because none of the wiring is in the center, except for the front cannon, so you're going to have to redo the front cannon as well. Uh, you're gonna have to redo the middle fins, a lot of stuff. You're gonna have to redo a lot of stuff. And there's also something like a core here, and I'm kind—it's of, kind of cool, cause there's like wiring, like right. Oops. There's like wiring right here, right here at the core, and it's so cool, cause the core is like attached to all the other redstone blocks in the ship. So it, it's. I just love this thing. Like, this ship is so cool. I love it. You see? And this ship can actually take a fair amount of beating. Um, now, that's because there's a lot of wool. Like, there's a lot. It's designed to have a lot of wool, and it's not designed to have a lot of armor. Believe it or not. It's actually not designed to be filled, like, you know, just covered in armor. It's not designed for that. It's actually designed to have armor in the front so that, you know, it doesn't get set on fire or anything like that. And it has some armor to protect it from broadside attacks from, like, cannon fire. But then from here back, there's nothing covering it. Like, there's nothing. And that's because this is an interceptor class. It's the first airborne interceptor. I already have a boat interceptor. Please don't get it mixed up with that one. Um, and basically, this thing is designed to go fast. It's designed to deliver a hit. And um, it's very small, as you can see. It's not even 2,000 blocks. But it is very fast. Very fast, I say. Anyway, I'm just gonna blow that Fletcher out of the sky because I don't know what it's doing there. Okay, that should do it. Not enough explosions! I'm just destroying this. Jesus. There's actually more damage back here than there is over here. Okay, there's quite a fair bit of damage on the cannons there. But Jesus! That's... Yeah, the Fletcher has a fair amount of weak points. Uh, but yeah, so this ship can take a hit. Um, it can deliver a hit. Like, it can go through the Fletcher's armor in a single hit with its not even advanced broadside cannon. That's actually kind of depressing, really. Um, yeah, so that's gonna have to do it for me. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, click that like button. Also, click that subscribe button. I'll see you next.